User joined your channel. Hey, hello. Hey, Thomas. How we doing? Uh, trying to get better. <laughs> uh, trying to get better, huh? Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, no. What are you playing on? Oh, uh, we're not really playing on anything. Doing some modding here again tonight. Looking at wheels. Always, always fun. Uh, you have strap uh, again. Oh, yeah, that's that's no fun. Uh, that's no fun. No fun at all. Better than that other virus that's going around, though. Don't catch that one. That, uh, uh how was that? Uh, coronavirus? Yeah, however you say that. Uh, has he... Her... He's... Randy? Huh? Okay. Here's Randy. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He's live. Maybe. Though we're not quite sure. You never know. Hey, NCSM Farmer, howdy, welcome to the stream. And yes, hopefully everyone else is having a great night here so far. Uh, working on some mod here again for Farming Simulator here uh, tonight. Working on the John Deere 7520, at least for starters anyway. Not sure if we'll get into anything else here tonight. Uh, but basically, the 7520 is almost done, I think, everyone. And I uh, posted on my Facebook page here yesterday, if there's anything else I should do to the tractor. Uh, there's a couple of things that came up, uh, like chrome exhaust stacks. Uh, bigger tires, uh, maybe removing the cab. We'll see what, um, I've kind of already looked at removing the cab. Probably not going to happen, but we'll maybe take another look at it here tonight. Plus, I, th I think I've looked already. I don't think they really made a cabless John Deere 7520, so I don't know, maybe they did, but not that I'm uh, aware of. Uh, oh, yeah, a couple of things too, like fixing the, uh, the seat. I've already done that. That was already done. Probably wasn't apparent in that picture I posted, but the seat's already been fixed. Uh, I did move the guy around in there a little bit. That was relatively simple. But anyway, tonight we're starting with tires, uh, bigger tires. So we're going to start there. And that should be actually relatively simple. Uh, for those of you who ever want to add tires to your vehicles or change tires in your vehicles, as long as it's an in-game tire, pretty straightforward. So uh, paint it red. Go ban yourself. Paint it red. Paint red. Yes. But, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Ethan, consoles live? Console, oh wait, how, how can consoles be live? Uh, pig, pigs are a waste of money in 19. Uh, that's not what King Joker would say. King Joker rather likes his uh, pigs. Uh, speaking of tires, I have added some additional tire options here. Oh, that was another idea too, was weights. I added some additional tire weight options. So I've got these in here already. That was just uh, an addition to the wheel XML file here. Uh, let's see, watch here. I got deer wheels. I think deer wheels two is the one. Uh, so I added dual configurations for weights. That's basically all that was there. Dual weights, adds weights. Again, they're just in-game weights, so not much to it. Uh, Thomas, oh, oh, my console's live. Oh, that's a shame. I mean, that's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, ew. <laughs> Uh, let's see how it's there. So, if we're going to start with some tires here, uh, let's go with, let's do some single tires here for starters. I'm going to just grab all of that code. We're going to bump on down here. Paste it in. Yeah, right about there. Looks good to me. And the tire brand on this is going to be Midas. Firestone or Michelin? Midas. I'm I'm just sticking with in-game tires. I think that's how you spell that, right? Oh, hello. How you spell what? 
No, that's not the one. There we go. Uh, Midas. Am I... Nope, that's not the right folder. My DAS. My TAS. That's what I thought. Okay. Double checking, and we'll change the brand name. Uh, I believe with the brand name, you have to have it capitalized, by the way. Uh, all caps, I should say. All caps. Oh, ooh, triples. I could add triples. That would be relatively simple. I mean, you would just have to go into the wheel XML file there and uh, uh, quadruple them up a little bit. Uh, you think he's actually using a John Deere chopper that's actually green? Wait, the console's using a John Deere chopper that's actually green? Oh my Impressive. gosh, give that man a cookie. I know, right? Oh, let's see what's your Mita tires. How much your Mita tires cost? Um, let's see what's your, how about like $4,000? That sounds good to me, I don't know. <laughs> Going some big tires. Oh, uh, wheel size. Or wheel files. Sure. Physics, rest load, yeah, we should be able to leave all that there. Initial compression, suspension, spring dampener. Sure. Go steering angle. Basically, all we're going to do here, everyone, is we're going to go into our tires here. This is the in-game tires. Uh, so I've gone to the data folder, shared, wheels, the Mita's tire brand. These are SFT. I don't, I don't know what that stands for. but And then I figured for tires, we're going to do the 1250-50R32s. Some big freaking tires. And if you're curious what they look like, we can go down to the R32 here. Pop that open here a minute. And if we zoom into that, that's what that tire looks like. Big freaking tire. At least I think it is. At least it looks like it. Anyway, we'll find out here. Uh, you never know. Sometimes when you go to put this on a mod, like, ooh, that's maybe way too small or too big. It's always hard to tell if it's not on the vehicle, right? But anyway... We need that whole link right there. Paste that in. Actually, no, that's yeah, a dollar teaching, sign. Dollar sign. Uh, I was teaching Bailey and them how to uh, how to get rid of space characters. Uh, that's what I heard, yes. Oh, tanker is writing with a party of three. Whoa. Oh, I went on ahead and went in, went in uh GSI GSI silo complex. I decided to fix the whole thing. It's like, here you guys go. Ah, nice. All fixed. And uh, welcome to the uh, tanker tugger raining party there. Who do believe uh, was it Midwest Horizons uh, tanker said he was playing? I know he was up in the other uh, recording channel here. Which our uh, reminder, by the way, if you'd like to join us in TeamSeek, you are welcome to do so. Information again down below in the description there. Again, anyone's welcome to join as long as you can uh, play nicely and follow the rules. Okay, that should be data shared wheels, meters, that's uh, 1250 XML. That should be the link for that tire. So all we got to do is just replace all the rest of them with it here, and we should be good. That quite literally, everyone, is all we have to do to... Wait a minute, that link, why is that link? Okay, no, no, that link does. Okay, that's good, that's good. Quite literally, it should be all we have to do to get those tires on this tractor. The one thing we might have to do yet is potentially move them in or out. We'll have to see once how it looks on the tractor here. But that seems like a good spot to start. Let's see what's our name. Uh, floaters? Sure, I guess. I don't know what else we're going to call them. Name for the tire configuration there. Um, what else do we want? Is there any configurations in this file? Outer room? No, there's not. Okay. I don't have any wheel weights. Okay, wheel weights is not an option with that, apparently. That's too bad, because we could add that with the wheel weights. Uh, True Rummer, dual LSWs, please. Ah, only one problem with that there, True Farmer. If we go look at Giant's configuration. Nope, that's not Giant's. Giants configuration file here for the 1250-50-R32. There are no additional configurations for this. Now, that doesn't mean we couldn't take this file and put some additional configurations into it. We could do that. 
That is an option. And when I say additional configurations here, actually, let me get rid of these here because I don't really need these. Uh, when you go to a tire file like this, this is the one that's in the John Deere 7520 currently for the current tires. Uh, you got your default tire up here. Well, quite literally labeled default. And then you got configuration options for it. So like this one has a configuration option for duels, configuration option for weights, and then a configuration option for duels and weights. Hello, Legendary Tanner. Welcome to the stream. The Weld Raid. Yeah. Raid. Is that a good thing? Uh, so, yeah, like I said, we could. We could potentially add more uh, more tires, maybe. Uh, actually, you know what? Probably the only problem with that is if we did do duels, uh, the rims are not set up for it. That's going to be probably the problem there. So... Eh, we'll, we'll scratch that idea. Okay, so that mind everyone, what other tires do we need on it? We can go with some 1050, 50R32s. Tire type, bud. <laughs> oh boy. Tracks, ooh, tracks. Uh, we could do tracks, we could. We could. Uh, Ledger, got some awesome news today for your tracking info. Should have your new PC by tomorrow. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. You do have to sleep through the night first, though, right? <laughs> uh, or quad tracks. Well, it would be a quad track because the John Deere 7520 is an articulated tractor. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and well, thank you for the uh, subscribe. Thank you very much for that. You know what? Why don't we throw some 1050R, or 1050-50R32s on here, too, while we're at it. Uh, we, we could even throw some 970 R32s or 900, 600 R32s. I mean, there's all kinds of tires. Mean, pretty much any way you could throw any tire you want on here. Whether or not it looks right, that might be a whole other problem, but minor details, right? That's just, uh, did I close it? I guess I did. Uh, that's uh, some uh, 75 R15. Oh, boy, 75 R15s. <laughs> we, we could, I mean... It's, it's possible. Okay, so all we have to do then... Oh, wrong folder. I've got the right folder one of these times. Copy that one. Actually, I could probably just as well change it myself because it is just a... Ah, oh, wrong folder again. Uh, 1050. Yeah, it's probably actually easier. I'll just put a zero in there. Just as easy. Okay. Now we got 1050, 50, R32s on there. Uh, True Farmer, logging for next server three. Logging for next server three map. Logging? No. What has said? Uh, Ledger, hey, Santa Claus. I know. Nah, uh, probably not. No. <laughs> nope. That probably won't look right. Uh, yes. Christmas, the fat man will arrive in one month, 16 days, 19 hours, 9 minutes, and 50 su 52 seconds ago. Well, there's a Christmas computer giveaway on there, too, yet. I should probably remove that. <laughs> Forgot all about that. Uh, it's hard to get good help nowadays. Mm. Okay, what other tires? What other tires do we want to put on here? We can put some Michelins. That was uh, brought up as well. Some nice Michelin tires. What do we got for Michelin tires that'll work? Angry bibs. The 34 inch rims. So we got four 2085 R34s. Three 2085 R34s. Looks like four 2085 R34s are the biggest tire. And there's no additional options for that either, is there? Okay, well, that's kind of a bummer. I like that. No additional options. Different sizes do we have in here for the uh, 34s? Because a 420, I think that would be big enough. Hard to say.
Yeah, 420 is the biggest one. Uh, we could stick them on there, see what's what they do. Uh, no, well, I think he's lost his marbles. Marbles. Who what marbles? Where marbles? Well, if you're talking about uh, True Farm, he he did say he was down with the uh, the strep again. So that would uh, potentially make sense. Yeah, what do we got on here? Ooh, some 650, 60 R34s. Some 710, 60 R34s. See, I'm terrible with my tire sizes. Everyone knows 710, 60 R34s. I have no idea how big that is. No idea. I, mean, I recognize the uh, R34. That's a 34-inch rim. How much I know. Uh, Millwell Log. Ah, yes, I, I'd agree there, Millwell. I would agree. Definitely lost his marbles. Definitely. Let me just export one of these and see once uh, how big this actually is on the tractor here. That's a pretty big wide tire there. Interesting how the uh, 650 65 R34 is bigger than the 710 60 R34. Uh, true Farmer, first number is width. Second number is the uh, percent the sidewall is of the width. Yeah, that makes no sense to me. That makes no sense. I mean, how, how come they don't do it like uh, back they did in the old uh, tractors there? What was it? Inner diameter, outer diameter, and width? I think that's what it was before, wasn't it? Something like that. Now it's uh, like True Farmer said. First number is the width. Now is it the width? Yeah, width, right? And the second number is the percent the sidewall is of... Yeah, okay, yep. So that would make sense, because a 650... 650 wide, so this is uh, this is not quite as wide of a tire as the 710. Which, yeah, okay, it's, it's real close. There's not much difference there, uh, at least in the mod here, or in the model. Uh, but it is 65% of 650, so that's probably more than 60 of 710. I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't exactly still make a whole lot of sense to me, but... Those are potential options for tires there. Why don't we just uh, maybe do that? How about some 710 R34s? Let's... Actually, what, uh, what tire size is on here at the moment here? Let's, let me look, everyone. I forget what tire size. I think it's 650. Uh, D -D -D. R34 TM800s. Pretty sure they were 650 60s. I think. So if that's the case, 650. 650 60 R34s. That's actually the right tire size right there. The 650 60 R34, I bet. I think it is. The only problem with this tire configuration, there's no duels, there's no weights, there's nothing in it. Lame. Oh well. It does have an inner and an outer rim. I'm not sure why there's an inner and an outer rim if there's no additional configuration options for it. Oh, well, weird. Whatever. Let's go back to adding tires here. So we're going to do some uh, Michelin uh, tires here. See, so I can click on these. Uh, let's see what's our floaters. Let's maybe give this a different name. Uh, 
And then we'll name this one as well, just so we know the difference. 1250, 50, our 32s. No idea what these tires will be. They'll just be some sort of tires. And then, of course, the brand name will be Michelin. We'll change out that link there as well. And we're going to go, let's let's start with maybe the 650, 60 R34s. Because like I said, I think that is the right size, if I remember correctly. Do I get for remembering it wrong? Oh, well. Okay. That, I think, should do. Now, the one thing I don't necessarily like here is there is only uh, single tires. Definitely would like a dual configuration with this, and we can uh, we could definitely probably add that. We just might have to uh, borrow this XML, bring it in here, create our own XML from it, and go from there. Because, yeah, there is no, uh, no duals configuration on that. Go figure. I guess they figure, why do you need duals, right? Typical European rubbish. Not yet. See, okay. Well, this one has weight configuration. It doesn't have duals, but there's a weight configuration there. Nothing on that one. Oh, yeah. This one has big ID. File name. Huh, interesting. Okay. Configuration duals. I wonder if that config dual actually works because there's nothing there. I don't know. Close all those. Uh, I think we maybe need to uh, load this up in the game. Everyone just see once what kind of uh, trouble we've created here. See once if we got anything or not. So let's, uh, oh, I got my game open yet. Right. Game is open yet. Still chopping corn, for those of you wondering. Guess what next episode's going to be? And probably the episode after that. <clears throat> and actually, at the rate we're going out every episode this week. Uh, True Farmer, if we do a loan for the next map, probably a good idea to uh, do a farm for farming and a farm for animals. Oh. Okay, let's see. We need to switch mod folders here a minute. Um, oh, well, thank you for the cheer. Thank you very much for that. that mod folder 2. Mod folder nothing. And reload the game. Oh, you know what? It's probably going to take a minute to reload the game here. Uh, I've noticed that if I close my game with the uh, Nowhere Kansas series, the game takes forever to reload the next time. Thank you, Steam. <clears throat> okay, so while we're waiting for that to reload, we might as well do something else, because like I said, everyone, Steam is going to screw us around for a while here. Stupid Steam. In case you can't tell, I'm not exactly having a big fan of Steam. Not at all. Oh, wait, is it going to load already? Wow, that was fast. Okay. Uh, Trevor, I'm going to find out who came up with the uh, tree bushes and make them use my first computer for five years. It's worse than Brady's. <laughs> yes. Person who came up with tree bushes. What should we do to them? Oh, I guess I can't discuss that on stream, can I? Oh. 
Oh, okay. Ooh. Boy, John Deere 6030 with tracks. That does look good. 6030 is public, by the way, for anyone watching and wondering. 6030 can be found on the RDL and Facebook page. I'll watch the 7520. I'm hoping by the end of this week, everyone, maybe. Maybe by the end of the week, give or take a little bit. Well, the end of the week. Probably actually early next week, maybe. I'm, I'm plan I want to want to be done with it by the end of this week. So it probably won't be live till the like the end of next week. Probably. That's how it'll work, if I had to guess. Okay, let's see what's what we're looking at for tire options here. Trelleborgs. Singles. Singles with weights. And you're probably thinking, well, wait, there's no weights. Yes, there are. The weights are on the inside. Seems like a good spot to put them to me. Because if you put them on the outside, they hang out so far. It's like, that just doesn't look right. So I put them on the inside. Uh, duels. And then, of course, duels with weights. And then we got to meet us. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. Those are some big tires. Yes, sir. Those are some big tires, everyone. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And those are the 1250s. Or, no, I'm sorry, not the 12. Those are the 1050s. Eh, we might have to adjust that just a little bit, everyone. Might be just a little bit. Don't worry. That can be done. Michelins. Oh, wait, no. There's more Mita options here. Even bigger tires. Oh, boy. <laughs> that, see, that, that, that's what I was saying, everyone. You never know how the tires are going to look until you actually put it on it. And um, Maybe not quite. Not quite, maybe. Boy, that, that kind of looks good with that on it, though. Uh, Ethan Murder. <laughs> Uh, let's see once here. Michelins. Yeah, see, now the Michelins, those look like they're probably about the right size, I'd say. We just need some dual configurations for them, if you ask me. Yes, yes. Yep. Looks like they're the right size. There's maybe just a little bit difference. Oh, uh, Ethan, you want tracks on it, huh? You want tracks. Tracks are a little harder, though. Well, not yes and no. Yes and no. Well, I, mean, I think we better address this issue first, because those clearly are not going to quite, quite work. Quite. Nope, not quite. Problem is they're almost, yeah, they're just a little bit too big. They're rubbing there, so that's not going to work. Eh, we can we can still buy one though. <laughs> Wonder if it'll actually drive this way. Yeah, it will. Oh, oh, I guess I can't. Uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, like I was mentioning earlier here too, uh, someone said I should fix the guy in the cab. As you can see, I've already done that fixed up the seat there too the seat was like missing a back piece for some reason i don't know what was up with that uh i just put a straight piece on the back i, I don't know what's supposed to be back there but not supposed to be probably be hollow like it was uh his hands are roughly on the steering wheel i mean not the best but yeah it's pretty good yeah okay let's address the uh tire size problem here a minute Actually, let me sell this uh, contraption. So what we're going to need is a couple object change nodes here so we can uh, probably move them out and we might have to scale them just a wee little bit here too. Yeah. Back to the uh, configurations here. And actually, do I have the John Deere 6030? That'll be, uh, what do, John Deere 6030, perfect. Okay, for the person that's asking about tracks. Need to put tracks on it. Uh, I think there was someone else that was asking about tracks too, so. Tracks. No, oh, those are LSWs. Oh, where are the tracks? Deere 6030. Back triples. Wide tires. Back 
stools, clamp bonds, trellis boards, triples. Okay, where's the tracks here? Some tracks in here somewhere. That's odd. Give it the odd. Okay, I'll have to go find those later. Anyway, what I do want is this right here, so let's take that for starters. Uh, Trevor, are we going to uh, plow the mounds on server 3? Uh, well, I figured we probably would. Why not, right? That was the whole idea behind the mound, so we could plow over the trees. But, but uh, without cutting the trees down. Okay, Mita's. Let's see, this has to go after wheels. And then the object chain. Oh boy, we're gonna have to change four of them here, aren't we? Right. Uh, Troy, need mods and COTW. Like gun mods? That'd be cool. Okay, and then we need that. Basically just uh, creating one for every single one here, for those who are wondering. Back tab that. There we go. Gonna be a lot of object change nodes. Oh, whoa. Did it actually uh, change this for me too yet? Oh. I think it did. Zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. Zero, 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 one, one, one. Oh, this should be one, zero. There we go. Got it. Scale active. Right. Then we need to pop over into here, figure out where these uh, positions are at. Front chassis. So we're looking at a 911. Once we get the first one done here, it should go pretty quick. It's a matter of changing the first one, and after that, actually, you know what? These probably are not all going to be the same. Wrong button. Negative. Take a chance. Maybe they are. Yep. Negative. That makes sense. 819. 19816. Those numbers are all the same. Eight one six. Uh, for those of you wondering what I'm attempting to do here, is I'm basically taking the uh, position in the I3D here, and we're going to be using the XML to modify that position. Because we need to have those tires spaced out from the tractor a little bit. And then we also have a scale down here as well. We're probably going to want to scale them down just a wee little bit too. <laughs> It's it a little big, if you ask me. So, okay. So for this, we're gonna want to probably push it out further. Let's just do do one. See what that looks like. That's gonna push it out a tenth, a little over, not quite. And scale, yeah, we'll leave that scale there. You know what? We can change which one. Let's see what's our scale. The scale on the X. We can probably leave that as one. Let's not save that. We can leave the scale that way as one. And they're going to want to do this for the other one here as well. Okay. 
see once what that looks like. Save. Back to the game. Medium tractor, 7520. We go to our, whoa. Okay, probably not quite right, everyone. <laughs> probably not quite. <laughs> uh, I think I missed something somewhere. Hmm. No error messages, though. Perfect. Don't you just like it, everyone? No error messages. Lovely. Okay. Uh, I did something wrong here with... Oh, uh, yeah, I know why, everyone. I know why. Uh, yeah, because I put the position here, so it's moving the rear tires to the front. Yeah, okay. Oops. It's hard to get good help nowadays, you know? Hard to get good help. Okay. Back into here. Rear chassis. Yeah, it's because I don't have these numbers uh, in the right uh, right spot. That's why. Okay. 9-2, that's actually pretty close. And then that should be the same for both, right? Yes. Interesting. Apparently, the rear tires are lower than the front ones. Huh. Never noticed that before. Interesting. 819 versus 92. Actually, maybe the way it's modeled, too. Maybe something isn't modeled. Quite the right, same. I don't know. Whatever. I only work here. Yeah, there we go. Save that. Ah, let's try it. There we go. <laughs> now the tire. Well, actually, I know we didn't switch to the right ones. Yet. There we go. Okay, now the tires look like they're in the right spot, everyone. Yep. And those, like I said, I think those actually look like they're about the right size. No, they're actually a little too small, aren't they? Also, the uh, diameter might need to be adjusted slightly. Uh, Ethan, we uh, should make it a gold gold color. What? Uh, to have free ice cream for the rest of your life or, f or free sweet tea? Ice cream. Don't even have to think about it. Okay, so these tires need to be spaced out a little bit more if we go with that tire configuration. Yeah, those are some big tires. Those are big tires. We can actually uh, scale them up just a little bit. Maybe eight not or nine. We maybe try point nine. And problem is I'm not going to have a diameter in here I can change. So I might have to do something a little bit different for that one. We'll see once here. That might get interesting. Uh, from where I see a problem, you're using FS19 shaders. I know, right? Just hate it when they uh, use FS19 shaders instead of the 17 ones. Okay, and then these here, let's go 1. Point, uh, 1. 1.1 maybe. That push those tires out just a little bit further. Okay, see how that looks. Yeah, that looks about right. That looks good to me. Oh, how do the fenders look? Fenders? Ah, they even fit the fenders too yet. Cool. How about the next ones? Oh, boy. Still fit the fenders, though. 
They still fit the fenders. The only problem is, like I said, at this point, the uh, diameter of this tire is too big. And I don't know... Uh, let's go look. I don't know if we can change that here. At this point, the problem is it's being pulled from here. Yeah, radius. Essentially need a smaller radius at this point. Oh, uh, anytime uh, Jeff's hanging out with Thomas. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, yeah, so, okay, that would make sense. With 105, mass 389. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I mean, I'm not going to be able to just change it there. I have to come up with a different way of doing that. Uh, has pi r squared. Pi r squared. Oh. Physics. I wonder if I throw a radius in here, if it'll listen to that radius as opposed to the radius over here. Worth a try. And seeing how we took about uh, 10% off of the scale, we probably need to take about 10% off of this as well. So if we make it 8.5, going to be too much. 10%, uh, that seems right in my head. Like I said, I'm, not, I'm just not sure. I don't know if I can put a radius in here or not. Find out. Uh, has no. Pi R round. Cornbread R square. Cornbread. What the heck is cornbread? Oh, looks like that actually worked. Aha. Uh -huh. I wasn't sure that was going to work, everyone, because I wasn't sure you could put a radius in there without there being a radius already in the entire configuration file, but... That looks like it did the trick. Okay, so we just need to do that for this one here as well, then. That shouldn't be too bad. Let's uh, go back to this one. Back to... Nope, not that. I can actually close that. Back to this one. And the diameter here is... Whoa, that's a big diameter. 101. We'll do the same thing here. Physics. Radius. And we're going to make that, uh, let's see, if we take 10% off that, it should be 0.9, right? And see, kids, this is why math is important if you're going to be doing modding. You now, you could just play with the numbers, too, but uh, like I said, if you, if you know your math, yes, you can just, uh, well, okay, we took 10% off the scale, therefore we got to take 10% off the radius. What is... Uh, 10% off uh, 1.01. It's not 0 0.1, but that's close enough. Enough for government work. Ah, uh, eat them. Uh, Cardinals. <laughs> yes, Yankees. <laughs> Yankee, yes. Okay. Let's see if that puts it back down on all four. Looks like it does to me. Actually, maybe lower that down just a little bit more, too, if we wanted to. Oh, no, wrong button. Go that one, then go to this one. Yes. Oh, some big tires on there. Yep, looks like some really big tires. Interesting that axle got pushed out as well. I'm not sure why that is, but whatever. Yeah, boy. Going downhill. Let's 
Like you're truck driving. Oh, me truck driving? <laughs> hey, those tires might be just a little big. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Go with it. Yeah, we could maybe scale them down just a smidge more, maybe, but... Ah, where's the fun in that? Okay, we'll go with that for now. Okay, back to the Michelins here. Maybe get those tire configurations sorted out. Uh, Michelins. Michelins. We were looking at... These were the axial bibs. I think what I'm actually going to do here is we're going to create a second tire configuration file. The, the problem with the built-in uh, Giants one there, as we discussed a little bit earlier... There's no duels or weights, configurations, none of that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make one here. Okay, so we're going to pop this open. And then we're going to go to the 650, 60 out of 34. I think that was the one. And I'm going to grab... Higher configuration from this one. Actually, we'll grab... You need the physics as well, don't I? Let's grab it all. And we're just going to simply replace that with that. Okay. Now there should be some nice uh, Michelin tires in there. And then they should have options for duels and weights once we get that all configured. Simple as that. Back to the 7520 XML. And then basically in order to get uh, the configuration for the missions, I'm basically going to grab the entire configuration stack for the Trelleborgs. Go down to the Michelins. Replace it all with the Trelleborgs. And then all we're going to do here for all of these is change the 2 to a 1. So now it's pulling from a different file, which are the Michelins. All the rest of this data should, I think, stay the same as far as I know. Go, and then also change the brand name, of course. Okay, there we go. Now, I might have to reload the game for this one. I'm not sure. We'll double-check this here in a minute. Uh, just because I created a secondary XML file, I'm not sure if it'll load it. We'll find out here in a minute. Hey, Lisa Beast 89 welcome to the stream. Okay, let's, uh, let's see what that looks like. And I might have to reload the game for those options to show up. Michelin's. Ooh, that's not quite the right tire size. Not quite the right tire size. Something's not quite right there with the uh, rims. I'll have to double check if uh, these too wide. Oh, actually, how do they look for the trouble works? <laughs> nope, those are not the trouble works. Now these are uh, okay. These are a little bit trouble are a little smaller yet. Which, uh, what are these? Oh, these are 665s. Okay, I was thinking 650 60s. Hmm. Uh huh. Okay. So we got, uh, we got 650 65s. Not have any 600s, huh? Well, that's a bummer. Uh, Vapor Rift, you don't see tracks. Oh, boy, here we go with the tracks again. Okay, we'll, we'll do tracks then. 600, nope. 80, nope, nope, nope. Okay, we might have to uh, do some different rims here for those tires then. So if they're 34 inch, they should still fit. A 650, 60, that would be just a little bit wider than a 6, no? 
665. I think they're just wider. That's the only thing. Oh, yeah, and the rest of the tire options aren't showing up. That's why I figured. I went, you know what? I might just have to reload this here. Man. Let's uh, let's do that here. Before I do anything else, let's just reload the game, double check. Make sure what it's showing us is actually right because it might not be. What I've noticed, typically if you create additional XML files, uh, you do have to reload the game for that to show up. You can modify all you want inside of the XML files, typically, but in order for it to show up, yeah, you gotta, gotta reload. Uh, Isaiah, yes or no? Where's, uh... Oh, when I... Can I... Oh, yes, absolutely, yep. Uh, as Hess said there, Isaiah, if you'd like to play with us, welcome to do so. You can type in, oh, that's already did, exclamation point, TS. Bring up our TeamSpeak info there. Again, RD Allen TeamSpeak server. Okay, let's see what we got this time. Okay, yeah, they're still too wide. But now we do have our tire configuration options here. With weights, check. That's interesting. They actually fit on the dual rims. What the heck? Why would they fit on the dual rims, not the single rims? Hates me. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Trevor, yes, we don't use Discord. No, no, we don't use Discord. Discord sucks. Egg tires. Interesting. I'm just curious how I as to why the tires are fitting on the dual rims, but not the single rims. The, the, that doesn't make sense. They should both be the same. Odd. A bit the odd. Well, I'll just buy one of each here and look at them that way. There we go. Okay, what do we got? Let's see, that's the Trelleborgs. Yep, they are all... Oh, wait a minute. Ah. Wait, these are both Trelleborgs. Oh, one of these was supposed to be Michelins. Ah. <laughs> okay, I see why, everyone. <laughs> ah. That's interesting. Uh, Eagle Scott, is there tracks? Uh, no, there's... Why is everyone asking about tracks? No, there's no tracks on it. Not yet, anyway. Okay, like I said, I, I see why, everyone. The the outside tire is still a Trelleborg tire, yet the inside tire is a Michelin. That's why the uh, outside tire is still fitting. Ah, uh, makes sense. So I missed something in the uh, configuration file here, didn't I? That should be a relatively quick fix, I think. Eh, wheels... Wheels, wheels I3D. Okay, I'm going to have to go to that one here. Ah, I forgot to change a couple of ones here. Oh, wrong button. Hey, Christopher Yee, welcome to the stream. Okay. Save. That should put Michelin tires in all of them then. Uh, Isaiah, what is the Discord? Uh, Discord is uh, some, you know, rubbish program. Uh, you're a console person. Oh. Cool. We'll have a moment of silence. Uh, because I'll need help getting money, but I'll take... <laughs> I see.
Okay, we'll just uh, sell these here a minute. Uh, usually once you buy them, the uh, changes won't show up until you uh, reload the game. Is that exhaust flap open the back or reverse way? <laughs> ah, exhaust is backwards. Don't you hate it when that happens? I'll have to look into that. Just notice that. Like I said, some of the things you, you don't see until you just happen to, you know, be randomly looking. Oh, wait a minute. What the heck is that up with that? Okay, medium. Michelin's. I still got Trelleborgs on it. What are the Trelleborgs on it for? Additional wheels, wheels, steer wheels, one. Configuration ID uh, should have worked. Maybe I have to reload it. Uh, can I play with them when I get farming simulator 19? Oh, yeah. You can if you want. Uh, how's it going? I'm going to play farming pro 2015 making feed 2015. It's like five years ago. Okay. I'll uh, just close the game, reload it one more time here. I'm guessing again because it's a secondary XML file, apparently I gotta reload. Well, that wouldn't make sense. That's the main XML. Mr. E, what are you on Xbox? Let me wait for that to load. Everyone keeps asking about tracks. Ash go to wheels. Odds. John Deere 6030. Load up the John Deere 6030 XML. Wide tires. Teleboard clamp on duels. Wide tires. Back triples. Oh, yeah, la, la. Good. Oh, good. Your LSWs. Crawlers. There we go. Crawlers. So I'm just going to borrow the whole crawlers configuration here. We'll put that into our 7520. Okay, just like that. We might have tracks. We're just going to have to change up our uh, nodes here a minute. Uh, Eagle Scott, every articulated tractor needs tracks. That's why. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, I say, no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Most definitely does. Always needs tracks. It has tire tracks. Yeah, we're just going to... Uh... And replace that one because the uh, 6030 obviously is not an articulated tractor, so the front tires are different. Okay, wow, oh, track, track options are expensive. Uh, by the way, if you want to add tracks to a vehicle, it, again, everyone is, is relatively simple, they are in game in game tracks, so it's not particularly complicated. Relatively easy, he says. So easy, in fact. Watch me screw it up, probably. There go. And then again, because this is a tr uh, articulated tractor, we're going to have all four tires here. So wheel one, wheel two, wheel three, and wheel four is all going to have tracks. I do need to change the link nodes here yet. He'll back to the left. And then same as we did with the Amida tires. We'll have to get some uh, object change nodes in there as well. Uh, Super Warner, every tractor needs tracks. Uh, every, every tractor needs tracks. Uh, okay. And I was hoping to get something else besides tires here. <laughs> that might be all we get to is tires. Lots and lots of tires. 
Let's see what's here. What, uh... I do have scale active on this, huh? Okay. I don't know why, but we do. Scale is 0.8. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the entire bit of code here. And replace both of these. And then back up to... Let's see what's here. We just need 0, 0. Place all of these. That one's going to be one zero. And that'll be one one. Okay, that should do it. Uh, physics, uh, yep, represent one one. I need to change it down here as well. Well, I just wait till Jeffrey sees all the tri uh, tire options in this tractor. He'll love it. Uh, vapor if most uh, tracks or kits don't see why you couldn't put them on. Uh, I'm sure you probably could. I uh, yeah, I agree. I, you could if you wanted to. I'm not aware anyone ever has, but in theory you could. Last one here. Get the scales all set. Okay. I might still have to move some stuff around here yet. We'll see once, but... Okay, and I noticed that I must have put a typo in here, because when I copied that over, yeah, it's missing a point one on that one. Uh-huh. Uh, they're getting lots of people still play FS14? If you say so. Kevin, I think I have it, I think. Oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, with crawlers, everyone, I seem to remember there's some additional stuff you gotta have for crawlers, I think, right? Or not? Maybe not. Oh, was that it? Maybe that was it. I was wondering, I was wondering if uh, we needed to have any additional code down here. For some reason, I was thinking we did, but maybe not. Hubs, huh? Maybe throw that in there for good measure, too. Yeah. Save it. Okay, let's see what we got for tire options now, everyone. This should be interesting. We're still got to fix the Michelin tires yet. Michelin's. He does. What? There's no tracks? Where's the tracks? That's interesting. Now, what, uh, oh, yeah, Lizard Tire brand on that, huh? Don't see any error messages. Might have to reload the game again, maybe. 
duels. Heck, are there still Trelleborgs on the duels yet? Okay, let me go look at this. 75, 20. I maybe like changed the wrong one here or something. Michelin's. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. So the Trelleborgs have... Eh, I wonder. Let me go check. Trelleborgs. Aha. Okay, I put the Michelins on the Trelleborgs, and I got the Trelleborgs on the Michelins. Eh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, like I was saying, it's hard to get good help nowadays. Real easy to uh, make... Eh, uh, kind of sort of mistakes, I guess you could call them. Not game-breaking, at least, but... Okay. Ah, I think we got it. Uh, do kitty cows make a lot of money in FS14? Uh, 670, or no, 67,200 for 7,000 liters. Wow. Nice. Uh, Hibby Bear, uh, same here. No. Okay. Trelleborg's all the way around now in that option. Michelin. And now has Michelin all the way around. And like I said, the tires aren't quite looked right. Apparently we need to, uh, Probably stretch those rims out just a little bit from the looks of it. Okay. It can do that. It can do that. The lizard option is not showing up, though, is it? Okay, well, let's... Uh, oh, let's see. It's getting close to wrapping up the stream. Let's see if we can uh, fix up the uh, tires on 60-30. That's that one. Wheels, pop open this uh, I3D here a minute. We're going to probably oh, delete man. that one out. Don't really need that one in there. And what I should probably do here, seeing as how we are using the 650. Uh, that one is, that one is zero, zero, huh? Okay. I could guess at it here, everyone, but I think probably the easiest way, I'm just going to export this one. Export it. I uh, know that's not 60. Okay, we're just going to export that one. Nope, don't save that. I'm going to import that one over here. That way we got that tire size and we can actually see it. Let me also create a uh, light. Lights up the object just a little more. And we want single left, single right. I'm going to take all these. Can I duplicate them all at once? I can. Oh. Oh, you can do that. Okay. Once I get the scale for one of these figured out, it should be the same for the rest. Let me hide the first set here. Okay. And you know what? Let me hide the rest of these two, so we'll just work on one at a time. Like I said, once we figure out the scale for one, we'll just copy it to the rest of them. Should be relatively quick and easy. Use okay, left single left. Then one, we're just going to scale that just a little bit. That to me looks pretty good. 
So we're looking at a scale of one, two, seven. Can I just do one, one? And that looks like it needs a little more than that. One, two. Yeah, okay, one, two. One, two it is. We'll just copy that to the rest of them. That should take care of the problem. And then, of course, make sure we show the visibility on them again. Otherwise, you go load it up in the game and you're like, what the happened to my rims? Not that I would know from personal experience on that or anything. Uh, no kidding, Minecraft is back on the rise. Lots of people want... Uh, went back since 1.1 Bedrock version. Oh. Yeah, I heard something about the new uh, netherite ore. Okay, well, now that we've got the scale, we don't need this tire in here. We'll get rid of it. Also, make sure we get rid of the light. Don't want that in there. We're going to save this. And we're starting at, what is the node? Four through seven. Four through seven on this now. So we're going to go in our gear wheels configuration. And instead of zero, it's now going to be four and five. And six and seven. Also six and seven. Is that it? That's the tire. We don't want to change the zero zeros there. Rim. Rim. Basically, anywhere it says rim, we need to change it. So rim, six and seven. Tire. Should be good. Famous last words. Uh, it has some, lots of people are crazy. I know, right? Just turn on the television. And tech it, tech it, classic. Uh, I'm not a fan of tech it. Yeah, I've, I've kind of done the tech it before. Nah. Played a little bit of it. And quickly decided I got sick of it. Okay. Now let's see what the tractor looks like. Ah, tracks. Okay, it looks like they need to be scaled just a little bit. Bit. Just a wee little bit, maybe. On that, doesn't look too bad to me. And already I'll do a mod in Minecraft Survival Series. Mod in Minecraft Survival Series. Okay. Uh, boy. I actually like the size of those tracks. Just they are clipping into the uh, front of there a little bit, so I'm thinking, unfortunately, we're going to probably have to resize those down a little bit, unfortunately. Kind of a little bit too bad. They actually look like they're the right size for the tractor, but... Oh, well. Okay, let's see how our Michelin tires look. They don't look any different. Ew. Oh, I know why I want. I know why. Yep. Cause I, I changed the transform, or I changed the scale on the transform, not the actual object itself. Yes. Right. <laughs> yep, that looks right. Uh, has they look like tires? Okay. Yeah, like I said, what what I did is I scaled. The transform here, I didn't scale this. I need to scale that. Oops. Yeah. And I knew that. Mm -hmm. We'll just import that tire back in. Eh, redo everything we just did. Kind of almost have to hide everything else just so we can actually see it here. 
sure we get it right. And I don't know if these are all scaled the same or not. <clears throat> eight five. Eight five. Eight five. Okay, so they are all scaled the same. So once I figured out for this one. Okay. How about nine five? I like going for even numbers myself. I went to like nine five, stuff like that. Nine five. Nine five. And nine five. I wonder why does that uh, left one look so much bigger than the rest? Oh well. Nah, I gotta worry about it <laughs> at the moment. Uh, can you do an FS20 series? Oh, boy. Uh, has to, oh, yes. Uh, February 30th. We'll be right on that. February 30th. That seems like a good day to start it. Same day we start a Minecraft series, too, right? Okay. Hopefully we got it right this time. Let's, uh, let's see once how this works. Yes. Oh, and you actually know what? Before I pop that back open, let's uh, get some scale set on these tracks here a minute. Okay, and that one as well. Uh, truck 35, I thought it was February. Nah, nah, we'll, we'll go with February 30th. That gives us, you know, two days in February to work on it. Okay, save. Let's load it back up. See you once what we got here. Actually, the one thing I'm noticing. Yeah, 92819. Weird. Oh, well. Where can you? Sometime in March. Uh, has the, oh, that's the, oh, is that the back update? Uh, well, see, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, has the next open date is March, is the 32nd. Ooh. Okay, let's uh, cross our fingers, Evan. Hopefully, we got everything right here this time. We had a lot of tire configurations tonight. Okay, oh, Trello Borg, so those still right. Weights, check. Duels, duels with weights, check. Midas. Yeah, check. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, check. Uh, let's see what's here. Michelin's. Yeah, looks like the rims are looking pretty good. With weights. Yeah. Duels. Uh huh. Why or what? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I thought I noticed that one. I was wondering why that rim looked like it was out. I'm like, what in the world's up with that? Hmm. Weird. Whatever. Duels with weights.
and the uh, weights are in there, just kind of hard to see. And then we got tracks. Actually, don't look too bad. Yeah, they're a bit of a height issue, though. We're going to have to figure out what's up with that. They are apparently are different heights in the uh, XML. Exactly like that. Fenders, yep, fenders will still work. Ooh, that's April 1st. That's always a good day, too. Oh, boy, everyone, look at that. Tracks. Oh, I do notice something. <laughs> uh, okay, we, we, some, something we should probably fix here. Everyone, uh, the axles are sticking out here yet. Yeah, we might want to hide those axles if we're running tracks. Just a thought. Oh, oh, oh Jeffrey's here. Quick, hide everything. everything. Quick, uh, quick, quick, quick. Don't, don't, show, don't show Jeffrey this. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing to see, Jeffrey. Nothing to see. Yeah, exactly. There has time to end the stream. Time to end the stream. Hey, Eagle Scott. Hi, Jeffrey. But don't, don't be hiding him now. We, we gotta quick hide it. Okay, uh, let's see what's here. What I'm going to do here, everyone, is because I don't like the uh, fact that it's uh, angled like that. We're going to go make these numbers the same. Kind of questioning why they were different. And, you know, up until now, I had not noticed that. Apparently, the original mod author did not set his front and rear tires to the same height. Don't ask me why. Okay. And then we're also going to need some other... Oh, wait a minute here. No, I think the axle is separate, so I can hide that yet, I think. Jeffrey, tracks! Of course, Jeffrey. See, look, look what happens when Jeffrey's not here. Okay, where do I'm looking for... Where's the fill units here? Yeah, I need one of those. That's what I need. Uh, Eagle Scott missed a lot. Oh, you know what? You know what? We're going to set that to false, and we are going to need four of those. What we're going to be doing, everyone, is obviously hiding the axle. We don't need to be seeing axles with the tracks. Uh, no, well, it's all a figment of your imagination there, Jeffrey. Uh, Jeffrey, someone just whispered to me, unban me, please. Oh, what? We'll be doing that. Uh, let's, let's see what's here. Nope, don't need that folder open anymore. Let's go back to here. 7520. And while I'm in here, I'm going to lower those uh, rear tires down, too. So 9-2 should be, let's go 8-1-9. Puts it too low, doesn't it? Hm. Oh, well. I think it'd be better off having them uh, the same height. 8-1-9. Oh. Oh, that was the wrong number. Oops. Uh, should be 911. That one needs to be 819. Yeah. Uh, Trucker 25, Randy got into uh, my pain med. Now he's flying. Oh, I can make the tractor fly. Just uh, tweak some radiuses there, and it'll look like it's flying. Okay, and, and like I was saying, axles. We need to hide some axles. Right 
one one, huh? We about have it here as well. I want to don't think there's anything else we need to do with our tire configurations. We've added a bunch of them tonight. Yeah. But there's a lot of uh, object change nodes going on here with these uh, tracks. Hey, right, save that. Save that as well. Yeah. And I might have to reload the game for these options to show up. We'll find out here. And of course, I we do have the chrome exhaust. Oh, that's right. You know, I needed to fix the exhaust flap too, didn't I? Uh, let me check that real quick here a minute, if I can. Where's the exhaust flap? Exhaust flap. Max rotate. Make sure no 210. No, those are the fans. Exhaust flap. That is weird. Evening, coolin'. Two of them. Uh, Trucker, you had to take some really good stuff tonight. Oh, boy, really good stuff, huh, there, Trucker? <laughs> really good stuff. Huh, there's no exhaust here. Okay. And exhaust. Where would I find the exhaust? Under body, for the drive. Yeah, it's under there somewhere. Body, nope. Yes. Cassie's, nope. Stack. Uh -huh. Stack. Regular exhaust. You know what? I think what we need to do here. Uh, I think I know what happened. Nope, that was an exhaust effect. Where's the rain cap? Might have to figure out why that is set up like that. I'm not sure. Okay, not quite what I was thinking. Uh, can you, hey, can you do a multiplayer competition? Uh, Greenwich Valley, brother. Rain cap, rain cap. Why is that? That's the one I want. Let's try that. Let's see what that does. Famous last words. When in doubt. Okay, back to the tire options there. Michelin, yeah, we're good there. Tracks, oh yeah, that looks like that's a little more level now. Much, much better. Uh, how do the tires look? Are the tires looking good? Yeah, the whole tractor is actually looking level now. I actually had not noticed that before until uh, we were messing around with that. Any error messages yet? Don't look like it. Cool. <laughs> That's actually pretty good, everyone. Uh, all the all the things we did and uh, no error messages. It's almost scary. 
Now, nah, exhaust is still the wrong way yet, isn't it? Huh. Interesting. Pretty interesting. Oh, look at that. It almost touches. Almost touches. But not quite. Uh, Eagle Scott, my console's lost many times before. Why do you think he will um, win? I will win now? Ah, uh, my console win. Nonsense. Rubbish. Rubbish, I tell you. Okay, what? I think that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Of course, uh, if, if Jeffrey's still here, yeah, we got Jeffrey's favorite option as well. Better, uh, better show Jeffrey that one. Don't wait, that one right there. Yep. Okay, there's uh, there's Jeffrey's tractor. Yeah, definitely need to fix that exhaust. That's a bit uh, annoying. In fact, that's backwards. Yeah, well. Weird. Jeffrey, I like that. <laughs> I should have known. I should have known. Yep, should have known. Uh, yes, I will take competition losers for 600. Can we navigate our way through here? Yeah, kind of, sort of. Okay, well, anyway, on that note, I think for that, we're going to wrap this uh, live stream up here. I think we did some pretty good stuff. <laughs> well, maybe, anyway, for uh, the tractor. We definitely got some uh, tires on there now. We even got tracks on it. We even have tracks on it. I'm not sure if I'm as sold as the all-black tracks on this one as I am on this one. Like, on the 6030, the all-black track actually look kind of good, if you ask me. I have one. Not sure about on here, though. Not sure. My console, what my atrocity is this? Oh, my, my, well, that will be my console himself. I mean, uh, that will be a green tractor there. Proper tractor band there for you, my console. Wait a minute. Why does my console have an underscore on him? Since when does my console have... Why, since when does my console my console underscore? Okay. I think we might, I think we might have an answer to Jeffrey's question from earlier in the stream. Oh, we do? Who whispered him to get unbanned? Ah, uh, well, uh, oh, wait. So, my console's banned. My console banned. I mean, of course he's banned. Can I ban him again? Uh, Vapor Rift. I uh, need some uh, John Deere yellow in those tracks. That's what I was thinking. I might have to do that with these. The only problem with that is if we do that with these, then we got to pull the in-game tracks out. And we have to do that. We can't. I can't change these tracks in the game, so we'd have to make a second, uh, second set of them. Uh, I guess got fake McCon. Oh, a fake McConsole account. Interesting. Uh, McConsole, there's yellow bits. Everyone who throws up has corn in it. Oh, corn, huh? Brother. Anyway, like I was saying, I think we're gonna wrap it up here again. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, don't forget to, if you'd like to uh, join us in the uh, on TeamSpeak here, you're welcome to do so. Information down below, or you can type an exclamation point TS in the chat. My console, yep, I'm fake. Oh, good. Hate to see the real my console around, you know. <laughs> uh, so again, everyone, till next time.